in Connecticut. We have been following it throughout the day. Fotis Dulos charged now with murdering his wife, Jennifer Dulos, nearly eight months after she disappeared. Today, new clues being Fotis revealed by prosecutors, including blood-like stains that police say match Jennifer's DNA. We do have live team coverage on all of this. We're going to begin with News 4's Mark Santia, who is covering the investigation angle of it for us. Mark. And Stacey, police still have not found Jennifer Dulos's body, but based on the evidence and the amount of blood loss, the medical examiner has considered this a homicide. Fotis, why'd you do it? Fotis Dulos in handcuffs, hauled out of the Connecticut State Police Barracks in Bridgeport. Dulos arrested and charged today with murdering his wife, Jennifer, nearly eight months after her disappearance. Fotis Dulos, who is charged with murder, felony murder, and kidnapping. Jennifer Dulos, last seen alive on May 24th after dropping her children off at school, police revealing in an arrest warrant today, they believe Fotis Dulos rode a vintage bicycle to Jennifer's home, killed her, covered up the crime, and disposed of her body. The warrant detailing seven locations where blood-like stains matching Jennifer's DNA were found at her new Canaan home. Fotis's attorney, Norm Pattis, dismissing the new charges. And now we get to address the proof, and we are confident about our case, and we are confident about our odds. We said long ago, bring it on. They did. We're here. We're ready. Dulos arrested, along with his girlfriend, Michelle Traconis. She is charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Police say they recovered Traconis's and Dulos's DNA from garbage bags dumped at multiple locations on Albany Street in Hartford. She uh, has always been extremely cooperative and, um, you know, we'll have to deal with these charges in court. Dulos's one-time attorney, Kent Mahinney, was also arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit murder. Jennifer Dulos's family released a statement this afternoon saying, quote, although we are relieved that the wait for these charges is over, for us there is no sense of closure. Nothing can bring Jennifer back. We miss her every day and will forever mourn her loss. Fotis Dulos' attorney, Norm Pattis, is addressing the media right now. Let's take a listen. Months of listening to innuendo, suggestion and rumor, we now have something to shoot at, and we intend to begin firing those shots at Mr. Dulos' bond hearing tomorrow morning. Additionally, the thing we found most disturbing today was the treatment of Mr. Dulos um, by the Connecticut State Police. Um, Ms. Ms. Traconis was given an opportunity through her counsel to arrive, uh, to turn herself in at her leisure or at least given notice that the police were uh, uh, en route. But for our having received a tip from someone in the state police, the police would have arrived at Mr. Dulos's home before we did. But we got there first. And then when we arrived, we were told he'd be, um, we would be, we, he would be taken to the state police barracks in Bridgeport and that we would be given a copy of his arrest warrant affidavit there. We waited in the lobby for more than three hours to see Mr. Dulos and to get a copy of his warrant. In the meantime, Mr. Conus's lawyer waltzed in and was immediately shown and given access to his client. Um, we were told that we weren't going to get a copy of the affidavit until the state police press officer finished writing a press release. Uh, we raised questions about that and ultimately received the affidavit. Then we were told we could talk to Mr. Dulos on the phone later. They had to get him out of the room. And when we went outside, we saw all of your cameras were pointed at their sally ports, suggesting they, tried to, they were going to try to spirit him away without a meeting with us. We demanded treatment similar to that that Mr. Conus received, and we ultimately got it. So. That is the attorney for Fotis Dulos there uh, speaking today outside of the offices there. Now, we're going to continue our team coverage with Ida Siegel. She is live in New Canaan. Ida, this community was so affected by this, and we're hearing a lot of reaction from them today. Yep, that's right, Stacy. In fact, their reaction can probably be summed up in one word, which is finally. Lots of people here want to know why it took so long to get to this murder charge, but no doubt they say today's development was good news. When word first spread early this afternoon, folks in town say people were honking their horns, making sure everyone had heard. Art Keen owns this mobile station. He says it was like a party. I got a kick out of them. 
hitting the horns. I thought there was a party going. I didn't know anything about it until my son told me about it. Turns out the party was actually news of the arrest. Yes, yes. This is a community that jumped into action when Jennifer Dulos went missing, passing out flyers, assisting police with the search. Folks here say they're not surprised to hear her estranged husband has been charged with murder. Not a surprise. I mean, it was a matter of how they were going to get the evidence to be able to charge him. No comment today from Jennifer's former neighbors, but folks in town say they used to see Fotis Dulos visit the local shops all these months. He was suspected of her murder. They are hoping this development means closure. Is there any doubt in your mind what happened here? No, I've been following the case pretty closely, and, you know, if you read, you know, all of the, uh, read about all the evidence and the background and so forth, I mean, it almost seems like an ironclad uh, case. I always believe an eye for an eye, tooth for tooth, that's it. But uh, he's guilty. It's got to go to court, and they're going to, you know, see what's going to happen. And lots of people tell me that they will be watching that trial very closely, hoping to learn new information about what happened to Jennifer Dulos. Reporting live from New Canaan, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Okay, Ida, thank you. Fotis Dulos due in court tomorrow, being held on $6 million bond. Michelle Traconis and the attorney Mawinney each being held on $2 million bond. So we'll have latest developments on the Dulos arrest, both online and on air. And you can get any breaking news alerts sent right to your phone or tablet by downloading the free NBC4 New York app. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.